Charles Manson was born on November 12, 1934, in Cincinnati, Ohio. He would later become synonymous with evil. Raised in a troubled environment, Manson's childhood was riddled with neglect, abuse, and run-ins with the law. As a young man, Manson found himself in and out of jail for various offenses. It was during these periods that he developed a fascination with manipulating vulnerable individuals and honed his skills as a charismatic speaker. In the late 60s, Manson formed a cult-like following known as the Manson Family. Manson believed in a bizarre theory called Helter Skelter, which prophesied an apocalyptic race war. His ability to captivate and control his followers became evident as he gradually gained their loyalty with the promise of an alternative way of life. Manson's reign of terror reached its climax in August 69 when he orchestrated a series of brutal murders, including the infamous Sharon Tate and LaBianca killings. Although Charles Manson himself did not commit the murders, his manipulation and control over his followers were undeniable. On January 25, 1971, Charles Manson was found guilty on all seven counts of first-degree murder of the Tate and LaBianca killings and sentenced to life. Ramon Escobar was born on June 5, 1971 in El Salvador. Very little is known about Ramon's early life, but he was raised in poverty due to the result of the football war back in 1969. While serving a sentence for theft in 2001, Ramon was diagnosed with schizophrenia. From 97 to 2011, Escobar was deported from the U.S. a total of six times. His murders began in August of 2018, when Escobar beat his 65-year-old uncle to death at his home in Houston. After his aunt got suspicious, he strangled her in her own minivan. He dumped the bodies, then burned the van to hide the evidence. A few weeks later, he moves to California where he killed a home man. The following year, he attacked three more homeless men with baseball bats to rob them. One survived, the other two died. A week later, he beat another man under the Santa Monica Pier to death. Four days later, Ramon beat another man to death in downtown Los Angeles with a baseball bat. Minutes after the assault, Ramon was captured by police. They found the bat in his car. He also heavily resembled the facial composites of a man wanted for murders. He was tried and sentenced to life for seven murders. On February 24, 2023, his cellmate was found dead due to strangulation. As of May 2023, Ramon awaits prosecution for his most recent murder. Nanny Dawes, aka Giggling Granny, was born on November 4, 1905, in Alabama. Nanny's life took a dark turn when she was just a teen with the death of her first love. Nanny married at the age of 16, hoping to find love and happiness. Two out of their four children died due to suspected food poisoning. Her first marriage ended in divorce. She got married again in 1928, this one lasted 16 years. In 43, her daughter witnessed her kill her youngest grandchild with a hat pin shortly after birth. In 45, she suffocated her oldest grandchild after an argument with her daughter. Later that year, she put rat poison in her husband's whiskey after he got handsy with her and he died that evening. Her third husband died of what was said to be heart failure. In 53, during her fourth marriage, Nanny poisoned her own mother and her new husband. She also poisoned her fifth husband. This death alerted his doctor, who ordered an autopsy which revealed a huge amount of arsenic in his system. Nanny was promptly arrested. She confessed to killing four of her husbands, her mother, her sister, her grandson, and her mother-in-law. Her motive? To collect insurance money and start afresh with a new love interest. On May 17, 1955, Nanny Doss was sentenced to life in prison. 